Hello and welcome to another Kia Electric News episode. Um, let's start with um, Kia EV6 service intervals. There's lots of talk on forums and Facebook groups with some people being told their EV6s should be serviced every year in the UK. But I don't think it's true. The manual says and the PDF version, paper and PDF, both say 20k or two years for cars that are, are in Europe, not the EU, but Europe. Also, if you open the Kia Owner's Manual app and put your vehicle in and your model year and right-hand drive in the country, that also says uh, 20,000 miles and two years. And also, when I bought my car, my dealer said it was two years. So I don't know where the dealers are getting this from that are giving people the impression that it needs doing every year. As far as I know, it doesn't. Um, my dealer would chase me up um, with an email if mine was due back in November and I'm well I'm, it's February now I'm months after it would have been done my car's also been in for two recall updates uh, under warranty so my, my warranty is not affected so I, as far as I know it's two years for both the MI22 and 23 uh, the latest on uh, the Nero zombie mode um, there's a forum rumour saying that Fix will be out at the end of March, but somebody said on the, on the same thread, what year? So we shall see. Uh, still no news or updates on the uh, MY22 battery conditioning update. Um, people on the forums are asking Kia regularly, as, uh, as I think they're, they ask Kia um, even yesterday. Um, I know that Canadian owners are waiting for theirs as well so I, I don't know what the issue is some people are saying it's because of the heat pump I think it isn't the heat pump and the battery heater are separate things um, and it hasn't stopped um, the rest of Europe getting this update there's just there has to be another reason I have uh, three technical service bulletins which I've not previously covered some go back to November last year the first two I think are more related to the United States and North America and the third one I think is uh, worldwide the first one is a service action DATC logic improvement for Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion. The DATC is the dual automatic temperature controller and it, it controls the uh, climate control. Obviously um, in America you like to use Fahrenheit instead of Celsius so you're more likely to see that. So uh, it, it must be cross converting Celsius to Fahrenheit to, to get the figure. So that's to fix that. I think that's a free recall update, but it's a, it's a dealer thing. The other one, service action, cluster logic improvement for ADAS alert volume change. Now that's very specific. Um, I mean, it, it comes across a lot of Kia models. And on the EV6, it's uh, models manufactured between September the 1st, 22 and September the 30th, 22. Again, that's another return to your dealer to get that one put on. And the one that I think is imp important to the UK is VCMS and battery charging logic improvement. Um, as far as I know, uh, they will only apply this if you've been having AC or DC charging problems. And so it's, they'll only, like I say, it will only get put on if you've got any issues. And I know some people in the UK have already had this update. Um, so I think problems like it was suddenly stopped charging for no good reason. Um, th those are the kinds of problems. You may have seen in the news last week, um, well, on various websites, on this one's Top, top Gear, Viral Challenge forces Kia Hyundai to release anti-theft software update. Um, luckily for us, this does not affect push-button versions of the models. So, and also the date range ends at 2019. So I think we're okay. We Hopefully it means we don't have a hidden USB port in the steering column and we can't get hacked in tick-top fashion. Anyway, thanks for watching.